Step 1. It is important to clean off any atmospheric dirt or other contaminants from the roof surface to ensure proper bonding. A clean rag and denature alcohol works well. Step 2. Make sure there is a minimum of 1 inch of clearance between the roof penetration and the inside wall of the e-curb. It is important to make sure the e-curb fits properly before bonding it to the roof surface with Duralink. It can be helpful to trace around the bottom of flange to help position the e-curb components during the actual bonding procedure. Step 3. To ensure proper bonding of the roof penetration, put a thin skin coat of Duralink around the entire circumference of the roof penetration and seal around the base. This serves as a primer coat and acts as an additional seal. The skin coat shall extend from the base up the penetration a minimum of 3 inches, which is 1 inch higher than the E-curb. This enables consultants and other roof inspectors to verify the primer skin coat was applied. It is very important never to use asphalt primer to prime the penetrations. Asphalt or concrete primer acts as a bond breaker. Step number four. After the surfaces have been prepared, the E-curb can now be installed. Take the first section and apply a quarter inch bead of Duralink around the entire bottom perimeter and a bead down the center. Position the section in place and press the component section firmly down, spreading the sealant beads on the bottom of the flange. Follow the same procedure for the remaining section, making sure to press the flange firmly down against the roof surface. Step number five. Apply a bead of Duralink around the entire outside base perimeter, including the horizontal fitting joint, making sure to seal all voids. Hand tool the sealant bead with a wooden tooling stick that is provided, making a clean and neat seal. Step number six. Now that the e-curb has been installed, it is ready to be filled with Duralink. Remember, Duralink is a sealant of choice for metal roofs because it will not sag and does bond well to Kynar coated metal roofs. Gun the Duralink into the e-curb and compress the sealant periodically with a wooden tooling stick during the filling process, eliminating all voids. It is important to fill the entire e-curb with Duralink. Duralink will cure the entire 2 inch depth, making a solid rubber seal partially filling the e-curb with grout, insulation, roof cement, or any other filler will avoid the warranties associated with the e-curb. Fill the e-curb flush with the top edge, tooling the surface neatly. If desired, the surface can be crowned with Duralink, making a positive slope. The e-curb is immediately watertight. The surface of the Duralink will skin over in approximately 45 minutes or less at 72 degrees Fahrenheit with 50% relative humidity. Depending on the temperature and humidity, it may take several days to cure the entire depth of the E-curve.